Hey YouTube, it's Mark from the channel Budget Dog Out, and I'm convinced that I have one of the best jobs in the world, where my whole hobby is dedicated around, first off, getting gear and purchasing gear, and now I'm in a position where uh, companies, because of you guys, will send me products, sometimes received in damaged condition. <laughs> Uh, you can you can see I didn't even reseal this up like I opened it, but it's, this is pretty awful condition I, And the only reason I opened it was not to really get a sneak peek of what was inside and By the way, I found this in there. Did anybody else get this in their battle box? <laughs> I think somebody whoever was in it. I think this fell out and I don't know why this is in there. But anyways I, um, I'm gonna check the card like probably after I I'm done with the video to see if I if there's anything that didn't make it all the way through. Uh, but cursory glance, it looks like everything was fine. But anyways, like I said, I have a great job where I review gear that's sent to me, and I can do videos however the heck I want to. That's that's the freedom that kind of goes along with uh, being a gear reviewer. Let's see what knife I have on me right now. I have the Kershaw Skyline, budget-friendly knife. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, I can do it the video however I want, so I, I really want to take better advantage and, and make the videos interesting, and I also want to listen to y'all's feedback on what type of uh, content you guys would like to see. And I'm going to do some polls and things like that, and I do have another bug out bag that I can do. I, I did a, a budget friendly bug out bag, but I've got... I've got another bug out bag that I can that I can do as well. So if you guys want to find out um, wh what I have coming up or having to, having the works, follow me on Instagram. So I, I, I post things um, sometimes more than once a day about things that are that are going on. But um, back to my original point, you know, I can do videos however I want to, and I, I feel like I'm not taking full advantage of it. And I feel like I'm being a little bit too tame with my feedback and my reviews of things. So I used to be kind of hardcore and, and almost a little bit abrasive <laughs> on, on what are the things, you know, basically the, the videos that I was making and, and the, the things that I was saying. And I think you guys responded pretty well with that. And I think I'm going to continue to, to bring that into the fold, you know, and of course, it, what I'm saying is just my own opinion and you know, just take it, kind of take it with a grain of salt. But with BattleBox, what I'm seeing recently, and I think this box included, is that I'm just a little bit disappointed. I guess that's the point that I'm building to. And you guys might see that in this video. I had a buddy who I recommended that he get the pro version. Well, I didn't recommend. He, he chose this um, version. So that's the $100 one and he's, he's had it for several months at this point and he's going to cancel his subscription because of this box and because of what he's received recently but anyways let's go ahead and go through this and i'd love to hear you guys feedback and please let me know in the comment section down below of are there any other subscription services that you would like me to reach out to these companies see if they'd like to send me something and then i can show you guys and, and, and kind of get my hands on some of these products and, and let you guys know my my thoughts on them. All right, um, I'm not gonna go in, I like to do BattleBox videos differently every time. So I'm not gonna go down the, you know, from basic to, to advanced to pro and then pro plus, but just so you guys have an idea if you haven't seen one of these videos, is that there are four variants. You can get a basic, well, that's $24.99, advanced is $49.99, uh, Pro is $99.99, and then the Pro Plus the knife of the month is $149. And then basically whatever version you get, let's say you just get the Pro, you get everything that's in the Advanced and the Basic. So if you guys want to hit pause, get a screenshot, look at this, uh, see what what all is involved, you know, I'll leave that up to you guys. But I'm just kind of going to dive in. This is the Pro Plus, so it has all of the different uh, all of the boxes, all the contents that you can get. I'll save the knife for last because, you know, anticipation right so this actually I might because I'm not someone who has a lot of uh, guns that are meant for long range because I by the time I was getting in, into knives and guns I was entering the military and 
you can't really have them on base in the dorms, uh, other than unless you check them into the armory. And then whenever I came overseas, you can't really have them overseas. So I do have some, I do have a, a, a 22, a semi-automatic, nine, or not a, uh, actually I don't have a nine millimeter, but I'm gonna get one. And then I have a 357 Magnum. But anyways, so for those of you guys who are into sniper types of weapons, that is what this is. It's a, this is the sniper box. This is Mission 40. This is June. And then this is long range shooting and it describes the different things that are in the boxes and, and their, uh, the thoughts behind it. But basically, this is going to be on the butt of the gun. Um, you can rest your, your chin on this. And correct me if I'm wrong though. <laughs> and then you can put your rounds right here. So. I do want to get a, what are they called, a Mosin Nagant. Let me know your thoughts on that in the description box down below because those are budget friendly, they're long range, and I just want to have something that I can bring with me whenever I go like hunting with my friends. I'm not much of a hunter. Honestly, hunting for me is just camping with, with guns. Uh, and I've said this before on my channel, but one of the things that, <laughs> like my, my friends, they don't like, hunting with me is the hardcore ones because I bring like beef jerky <laughs> I just start eating it like out there in the woods and you know these people they have like all these odor masking things and I'm just like eating my beef jerky ter teriyaki obviously um, <laughs> and they're just shaking their head because you know I'm, I guess I'm scaring away the, the, the deer but whenever I'm out in the woods like helping you know doing uh, field exercises I, I'm coming across deer all the time it doesn't matter what I'm eating so I don't know Who's crazy? Probably me. Um, so this is just going to be a stand. Basically, you kind of put this down and, and the barrel goes right here. And then while you're firing it, it kind of keeps this um, kind of keeps this down, I guess, pointed in the right direction, obviously. But, you know, it kind of keeps this more still and stable. Because stability is an important thing when you're shooting something hundreds of yards away. Oh, this is the knife. I don't know. Do you guys are you guys into sniping products? You know, let, let me know if you uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. Me personally, like I said, I can kind of take it or leave it. Uh, I'm assuming that if I was someone who has a lot of long range guns, uh, I think I would probably really like this box. But me and my friend who who, who is a hunter, um, one of my coworkers that I recommend this for, the one who's canceling his subscription. He wasn't a big fan of it. These are, looks like some cleaning uh, devices. You can probably use this for, for other guns as well. Probably doesn't have to be just uh, sniper style. Here are some uh, barrel cleaning uh, devices. Let's see if you can get that in focus. Okay, cool. Now I like guns as much as the next guy and I am an expert marksman in the military. I have the, the ribbon and everything. But just not not much of a sniper. That's okay. Not every box has to be for me. I do I do feel bad for my friend though, because you know the, the last one I think was a repair, was repair themed, and this one is sniper themed, and that's so that's two hundred bucks that he's spent on items that he's not going to uh, not really going to use too much, and he probably didn't want it to begin with. So I do feel for for you know for, for people who are buying these. Okay, and then this is a gun tool. I can't really speak to, I mean, they, they feel like good quality, but honestly, they don't feel like they're really good quality. You know what I mean? I feel like these are just there, just to serve a purpose. But once you started using these, I think I think if I was really into gun into sniping, I would upgrade these things immediately, or I would never have purchased them to begin with. These, seem, these feel, um, from from the material and what I know about, um, you know, this this type of material and being in the military and knowing what that military grade is doesn't really mean that that's a good thing. It just means it's sold to the lowest bidder. <laughs> but I think even these are worse quality than than what you'd find in the military. So I mean, I think these would these would be good for beginners. From from what I can see and what a little bit I do know about guns. Or at least those types of guns. What is this? This is some sort of a 
Also kind of a budget-esque feel to it, just to be honest. These are things that BattleBox can't really say in their videos, but I can definitely say in mine. And I do appreciate BattleBox for sending these to me so that I can give honest feedback, because when it's good, it, it is, you know, you, can hit, you know that it's because I think it's good. Uh, let me know, let me, I am curious about you guys' thoughts though. So you got a bunch of different um, uh, drivers here. So you got um, Torque, T15, let's see here, see if I can get this in focus. And then you guys can just see it without me reading it off. So like I said, if you wanna hit, you know, if you wanna screen grab that or whatever, if you wanna look into this company, where the box go? Let's see here, Real Avid is a sticker that came in this. The gun tool. If you're just looking for something kind of cheap and expensive to throw into your range bag, maybe you only go to the gun range once every few months. Maybe this might be something you guys can can pick up and move the knife over there. Oh, there's some more stuff down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you guys want a discount code, Spartan10. And this is for modern Spartan styles, modernspartansystem.com. Kind of a little advertisement at the same time, gun oil. Okay. And then long range shooting handbook, a beginner's guide to precision rifle. And that's what I think this box is for, is for people who are new to to rifles and stuff and like I said I honestly I am going to use this I'm going to kind of put this aside I'm not going to use this too much while I'm <laughs> stationed in Europe because it's kind of a whole thing to have guns over here uh, they're they don't really like it especially with all the terrorism that's kind of floating about but when I get back to the states I am going to probably brush up on this before I go to the shooting range with you know, buddy or um, relative or whatnot. Okay. And then, here's a shooting bag. This is kind of cool. This is probably, I haven't, I haven't looked at the knife yet. I just, other than just double checking to make sure it's in the, in the box. But this is, it's actually really cool. Uh, so nine line, I'm assuming that they made this and they're just not just putting their logo on it or at least that they're vetting more or less, right? But anyways, so this is obviously a gun bag for a big gun and has a couple of zippers here. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's terrible quality, but it's, I guess, is this double stitched? It doesn't look like it's double stitched. It just doesn't feel like super high quality, but I think that if you're a beginner or if you're just not going to use it very often, basically what I am, <laughs> I think this would work out perfectly. If, you, if you're just like trying to look for something that's tactical and isn't super pricey, this is probably a good item. And the, the straps right here looks like it can be used as a backpack. So I think it's pretty cool. It's not going to be super comfortable because it doesn't have a yoke style. So, just depending on how heavy the gun is and how much ammo you put in it. Not bad though, I think it's pretty cool. And I like these pockets out here, they look pre pretty tactical. Well, there's a couple of different sleeves in here. And then you can put your, your whatever right here. Velcro patch, your favorite knife or gun company. Okay, so. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's probably the, the best product. Let me see what the knife looks like. Honestly, don't even remember what it was. I got this in the mail like a day or two ago. But I did hit my head. I had a concussion. I'm doing okay now. Uh, but maybe that's why I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, okay, here it is. So, looks like... So, you got the logo out here. I think this is Sniper. Um, I forget what it's called. The Sniper company blade works maybe here is the knife Let's see if we can get a good close-up of this did that open all the way it's heavy hmm 
This is very slippery from all the oil, but it's not unusual to get knives that are extremely well oiled. If you're going to have knives that are just kind of sitting around in your boxes and waiting to be shipped or purchased, you don't want those knives to rest on you. So anyway, so there's that logo again. Uh, Sniper Blade Works, I believe. Doesn't have anything on this side to say the blade, like where it's made or the type of the blade or the name of the knife or anything. Let me see if I can get it better. Let me see. So it looks like a stone wash. Um, is that a ho is that hollow ground? It feels hollow ground. And yeah, it kind of not super, maybe a medium uh, height of that. It's pretty thick at the at the tip right here, so that's actually going to do pretty good as far as it's not probably not going to stab through too many things, but at least the tip is going to hold up. And you got a swedge here to kind of reduce a little bit of the weight. Man, boy, my hands are really sticky. And then this looks like it's fiber, carbon fiber-esque. Although it doesn't really feel that that really makes this knife any... It doesn't really feel like it's a lightweight knife or anything like that. I'm guessing this is like bronze or something like that. Um, maybe if I adjust the pivot then it'll feel less i don't know difficult to open i'm a i'm a knife guy you guys you guys can check out my channel you can see how many knives i have so it's the fact that i'm having difficulty opening and closing a knife does not really bode well for how many how much i'm going to use this this product it is difficult to close probably because it's so slippery i'll have to uh take a washcloth to it dry out the oils on it I don't know I just I just don't I'm just not feeling this knife and I like overbuilt knives or at least I thought I did maybe I don't <laughs> do you guys own any knives from the sniper blade works company let me grab that card where did the card go probably underneath some stuff. I want to make sure I'm getting this company right. Sniper Blade Works DMF folder and 1095 hard carbon. So they value the knife at $189. I mean the bag is pretty cool but I really don't know about any of the other gear that's in it. I mean it, it's good for me I guess because I'm a beginner like I mentioned. I don't know. The book might be cool. What I'd like to hear from you guys is your, if you are a subscriber from BattleBox, let me know why you are a subscriber or why you're no longer a subscriber. And I'd love to hear, like I said, if there are any other companies out there that maybe all they do is sell a knife of the month. I wouldn't mind being subscribed to something like that, uh, even if I'm paying for it or whatnot. So I just got a message from my buddy is that, uh, so he canceled it, and I've just been talking with him off screen, uh, actually well, while I'm setting up for this. The last thing he said is, I wish they told you the theme before you bought it. Yeah, feel your brother. Anyways guys, like I said, I'm not trying to say I'm disappointed with BattleBox, or not trying to crap on, you know, what it is that they, what, that they put out. I just don't know that if I would have bought a lot of this if I, wasn't receiving this for YouTube and I'm really like to hear from people who like my buddy you know, they're paying a hundred dollars every month granted you can pay you know the $24.99 or the $49.99 uh, and you, you get less of these products but you know it, you would save more money but I don't know if I would you know over time feel like I was just wasting hundreds of dollars uh, on, on, on some of these but like I said, that's just my thoughts, that's my opinions. I'd love to pass that on to you. Uh, let me know your thoughts and let me know, especially if there are any other companies out there that they're just sending out knives every month. Because you know, I would, honestly, if it's a, if, if you, you know, I, I wouldn't mind paying $80 a month or, or something like that, give or take, for a new knife every month. I think that'd be pretty cool. As long as it was something good. 
Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, let me hear your feedback on things that you would like to see me cover as well in the comment section down below. And if you are interested in BattleBox, you know, maybe they, maybe you understand that some months they're going to have good ones. Sometimes they're going to have ones that don't appeal to you, and but you're still interested in subscribing to, uh, to BattleBox. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be repaired. God bless.